Welcome to today's video about foods that kills cancer cells. Every year, a staggering 10 million people worldwide are taken from us by cancer. But what if nature held secrets that could change that? Secrets hidden in the very foods we eat. Ever wondered why some cultures, with diets deeply rooted in nature, have lower cancer rates? Today we'll embark on a journey, unraveling the mysterious power of certain foods, foods that some scientists believe might just hold the key. Stay with us as we uncover the truth about foods that may wage war against cancer cells. And a crucial question, can what's on our plate truly make a difference in our battle against this deadly disease? But first we have a challenge for you. Name three foods you think have anti-cancer properties. Write them down and let's see if they make the list. Keep watching to find out. Just a quick reminder. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice. Let's dive into our list of foods that combat cancer, beginning with the first one. Black cumin. Black cumin, known scientifically as nigella sativa, is a treasure trove of therapeutic benefits, especially when it comes to potential cancer-fighting properties. Dive into the specifics. The star player in black cumin against cancer is a compound called thymoquinone. According to a study published in the journal Oncology Letters in 2018, thymoquinone hinders tumor growth and promotes the death of cancer cells. This marvel compound does so by interrupting pathways that allow cancer cells to flourish and multiply. Another noteworthy component is thymohydroquinone. This compound is a potent acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, which means it's a weapon against brain cancer. Researchers from the Journal of Ethnopharmacology, 2016, backed up this claim, finding that it's exceptionally effective against brain glioblastoma cells. Want to get black cumin's benefits? A simple way is by incorporating its seeds or oil into your diet. Drizzle the oil on salads or grind the seeds and sprinkle on dishes. Always remember, moderation is key, a teaspoon or so daily should suffice. Keep in mind, while the research on black cumin and its cancer-fighting compounds is promising, it's not a substitute for professional medical treatment. Moving on to number two. Mangosteen. The powerhouse behind mangosteen's anti-cancer punch is xanthones. Xanthones are a group of polyphenolic compounds, and mangosteen is exceptionally rich in them. In a study from the Journal of Natural Medicines, 2016, specific xanthones like alpha mangosteen exhibited promising effects against breast and colon cancer cells. They operate by disrupting the growth of these cells and even inducing cell death in some instances. You're probably wondering, how can you incorporate mangosteen into your diet, right? Well, the fruit itself can be eaten fresh. Just slice it open and enjoy the juicy segments inside. Mangosteen juice and supplements are also available, but remember, nothing beats the real thing. And while the research is promising, don't think of it as a cure-all. Instead, Consider it a tasty addition to a balanced diet. Next, number three, acai berries. Acai berries, native to Central and South America, are not just another trendy superfood. Recent studies have spotlighted their potential anti-cancer properties. The magic behind this, a compound called anthocyanins. In a 2016 study from the journal Nutrients, it was found that these anthocyanins could inhibit the growth and spread of cancer cells particularly in relation to colon cancer. But anthocyanins aren't the only warriors in this berry. Other compounds like prothocyanidins, which a 2018 article in the Journal of Functional Foods discussed, have also shown promise against leukemia cells. The way these compounds work is by disrupting the cellular processes that allow cancer cells to thrive and multiply. Now, let's make it personal. You might be wondering how to reap the benefits of this berry. Fresh acai berries are a rarity outside of their native regions, but acai powder and frozen pulp are globally available. Incorporate them into your morning smoothies or sprinkle the powder on your oatmeal. Not only will you boost your breakfast flavor, but you're also giving your body these potential cancer-fighting compounds. Next, number four, asparagus. Asparagus, a popular veggie on our plates, is more than just a tasty side dish. Dive deep into scientific journals and you'll find fascinating findings. In a study published in Cancer Letters in 2018, a compound called asparanin a showed promise in suppressing the growth of liver cancer cells. It does this by promoting cell cycle arrest and apoptosis. Additionally, 
Asparagus is loaded with glutathione, often referred to as the master antioxidant. Research from the Journal of Nutrition and Biochemistry, 2017, highlighted how glutathione can neutralize harmful free radicals in the body, potentially playing a protective role against various cancers. All right, you might be thinking, how do I make the most of this? Simple. Just incorporate asparagus into your meals regularly, grilled, steamed, or roasted, it's versatile and delicious. Consider pairing it with a drizzle of olive oil to enhance absorption of its nutrients. Next, number five, artichokes. Have you ever bitten into an artichoke and thought about its health benefits? It turns out artichokes are not just a delicious side dish. They're packed with compounds that, according to research, may have cancer-fighting properties. Let's break this down. At the heart of the matter are compounds called polyphenols. One of these is selimarin, which has been linked to inhibiting skin cancer growth in some laboratory settings. A study published in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences, 2018, dives deep into this, suggesting that selimarin can halt the growth of cancer cells and trigger apoptosis, a fancy term for programmed cell death. But wait, there's more. Artichokes also contain cyanurin and luteolin. Researchers from a 2009 study in phytotherapy research found that these compounds might prevent the proliferation of cancer cells, especially in breast cancer. Wondering how to incorporate more artichokes into your meals? It's simpler than you think. Roast them with some olive oil, steam them and dip the leaves in some melted butter, or even puree them into a delicious artichoke dip. It's not just about tasting good, it's also about feeling good about the foods you eat. Next, number six, papaya. Papaya is a fruit that's not just delicious but may also have health-promoting properties. Medical research has shown that papaya contains a group of bioactive compounds that might inhibit cancer growth. One of the most talked about is lycopene, a powerful antioxidant. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition, 2010, showed that lycopene could reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Another noteworthy compound in papaya is carpane, which has demonstrated anti-tumor activities. Then there's the enzyme papain. While papain is primarily known for aiding digestion, some studies suggest it may have indirect anti-cancer properties by supporting overall body detoxification and health. Including papaya in your diet is a breeze. Eat it fresh as a snack, toss it in your morning smoothie, or add it to fruit salads. Consuming it regularly ensures you get a dose of these potential cancer-fighting compounds, and, let's be honest, it's a delightful treat for your taste buds. Next, number 7, pineapple. Pineapples, besides being deliciously tangy, pack an enzyme called bromelain. Researchers have shown some interest in this enzyme due to its potential anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. One study published in the journal Planta Medica, 2013, highlighted that bromelain might induce the death of certain cancer cells. Moreover, bromelain has this unique ability to help our white blood cells break down harmful complexes in the blood, potentially keeping cancer at bay. This action was discussed in a study from Anti-Cancer Drugs, 2007, where it showed promise in supporting chemotherapy by making some cancer cells more susceptible to the treatment. So, how do you incorporate this wonder fruit into your daily diet? Simple. You can relish it fresh as a midday snack or include it in salads, smoothies, or even pizzas. Next, number 8. Avocado. Avocados are not just a trendy superfood. They're packed with compounds that research suggests could have potential anti-cancer properties. Let's start with person. Found in avocado, person has shown promise in laboratory studies. For instance, a study published in Cancer Research, 2003, found that person could inhibit the growth of breast cancer cells. Then there's avoca in B, another compound in avocados. A study in Cancer Research, 2015, demonstrated its potential in targeting and reducing leukemia stem cells. Fascinating, right? The creaminess of avocados. You can thank the oleic acid for that. Besides making your toast delicious, oleic acid has been associated with reduced inflammation, a known cancer risk factor. Now, how do you bring these benefits to your plate? Incorporate avocados in salads, smoothies, or even desserts. Next, number 9, sweet potatoes. Ever wondered about the health benefits of sweet potatoes? There's mounting evidence suggesting these tubers could be more than just a delicious side dish. Sweet potatoes are brimming with compounds that, according to research, could help in the battle against cancer. 
died into a study from the journal Food Chemistry, 2018, and you'll discover that sweet potatoes are packed with beta-carotene. This antioxidant doesn't just give the potato its orange hue. It might also play a role in reducing the risk of certain cancers by neutralizing harmful free radicals in our bodies. But wait, there's more! Anthocyanins, found in purple sweet potatoes, have shown anti-cancer potential too. A Journal of Medicinal Food, 2017, study indicates that these compounds might inhibit the growth of cancer cells. Ready to incorporate sweet potatoes into your diet? It's easier than you think. Toss them into a salad, make a creamy soup, or simply bake and enjoy with a dash of cinnamon. Next, number 10, cabbage. Did you know cabbage is more than just a crunchy addition to your salad? Medical studies have unearthed some remarkable findings about this leafy green. The journal Food and Function in 2018 highlighted that cabbage contains compounds called glucosinolates. When you shoot cabbage, these glucosinolates break down into bioactive compounds, one of which is sulforaphane. This compound grabs the spotlight for its ability to inhibit the growth of cancer cells, especially in breast, lung, and colon cancers. Another noteworthy compound found in cabbage is apigenin, which has shown potential in blocking cancer cell proliferation, as reported by the International Journal of Oncology in 2019. To reap the benefits of cabbage, integrate it into your meals. Fresh coleslaw, stir fries, or a simple cabbage soup can do wonders. While cooking, it's key not to overheat, as high temperatures can reduce the efficacy of these beneficial compounds. A gentle saute or light steaming is ideal. Next, Number 11, red grapes. Red grapes, the delicious fruit we often enjoy, are more than just tasty snacks. They're packed with compounds that research suggests could be warriors against cancer cells. One superstar in this fight is resveratrol. Found in the skin of red grapes, resveratrol has demonstrated potential to slow down or prevent the growth of tumors in some cancers. A 2013 study in the journal Science Translational Medicine revealed that resveratrol could affect the protein that feeds cancer cells, slowing their growth. Another compound, pronthocyanidin, has been shown to interrupt the spread of cancer cells. The journal Anti-Cancer Agents in Medicinal Chemistry, 2012, discussed how this compound limits the spread of cells, especially in breast cancers. Thinking of adding more red grapes to your meals, it's simpler than you might think. Toss them in salads, add them to smoothies, or just enjoy them as they are. Next, number 12, olive oil. Ever poured olive oil on your salad and thought, this tastes good? Well, not only does it add flavor, but it's also packed with compounds that might have health benefits. Olive oil contains a unique compound called oleocanthal. According to a study in Molecular and Cellular Oncology, 2015, oleocanthal has the capability to rupture a part of the cancer cell, releasing enzymes and leading to cell death without harming healthy cells. Another star in olive oil is hydroxyderosol. Current pharmaceutical biotechnology, 2014, highlighted its antioxidant properties, which may help combat oxidative stress, a precursor to cancer. And of course, there's squalene. A study in the Journal of Experimental and Clinical Cancer Research, 2016, showed squalene can inhibit tumor growth. Now, how can you include more olive oil in your diet? Simple. Drizzle it on salads, use it for sautéing veggies, or even mix it into your pasta. Remember, opt for extra virgin olive oil for maximum benefits. It's less processed and retains more of those fantastic compounds. Next, number 13, pomegranates. Pomegranates have been celebrated for their potential health benefits for ages, and recent research shines a light on their role in the fight against cancer. The magic lies in their rich content of punicollagens and l agitanins powerful antioxidants. According to a 2019 study in the journal Nature Communications, these compounds can disrupt cancer cell growth, especially breast and colon cancers. Another exciting find from the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry in 2018 showed that urolithins, the metabolites formed when our bodies break down l agitanins could induce apoptosis. Now, here's the best part, incorporating pomegranates into your diet is a breeze. Enjoy them fresh by removing the urils, the juicy seeds, and sprinkling them on salads, oatmeal, or yogurt. Or, sip on 100% pomegranate juice. For an extra boost, consider pomegranate extracts available at health stores. Next, number 14, garlic. 
Garlic has long been celebrated not just for its flavor, but for its potential health benefits. When we delve into the research, we find that garlic contains several compounds believed to play a role in fighting cancer. One star player is allicin. When garlic is chopped or crushed, this compound is released, showing promise in laboratory studies for its potential to halt the growth and division of cancer cells. Another compound, dialdesulfide, has been reported in studies like the one from Cancer Prevention Research, 2015, to be effective against skin, lung, and colon cancers. Then there's SL cysteine, found in aged garlic extract, which a 2016 study in anti-cancer agents in medicinal chemistry suggested might help combat breast and prostate cancers. However, remember, while these compounds show promise, eating garlic isn't a guaranteed cancer shield. It's a piece of the puzzle, best combined with other healthful habits. So, how can we incorporate it into our diets? It's simple. Toss some fresh minced garlic into your stir-fries, salads, or pasta. Next, number 15, mushrooms. Mushrooms, our earthy friends, have been a focus in research due to certain compounds that show potential anti-cancer effects. Medically speaking, the shining star among these compounds is beta-glucans. Found in many fungi, beta-glucans have been explored for their ability to stimulate the immune system, thereby giving it a boost against cancer cells. A 2019 study in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences highlighted this potential. Another key player is ergosterol peroxide, an active compound that's been researched for its anti-tumor properties. But let's not forget about lectins, proteins found in mushrooms that can prevent cancer cells from multiplying and growing. Research from the Journal of Biomedicine and Biotechnology in 2012 backs this up. Now, wondering how to introduce more of these fungal wonders into your diet? It's simple. Toss some sliced shiitake or maitake mushrooms into your salad, stir-fry, or even pasta dishes. Reishi mushrooms, although slightly bitter, can be brewed into teas. Remember, the magic is not just in their unique flavor, but in their potential health-boosting properties. Next, number 16, sorsop. Sorsop, also known as graviola, has caught the attention of many researchers, especially when we talk about cancer. Now, what's the magic behind it? A compound named ananicious acetogenins. Found in sarsop, acetogenins are believed to target and kill malignant cells in 12 types of cancer, including colon, breast, prostate, lung, and pancreatic cancer. But wait, there's more. Sorsop leaves contain another powerful element, vitamin C, which boosts our immune system, essential when fighting off diseases. Additionally, the leaves are also rich in folate, ascorbic acid, and alkaloids, which have demonstrated anti-cancer properties. A 2016 study in the Journal of Medicinal Food pointed to these compounds as potential agents in battling cancer. So, how do we incorporate sarsop into our diet? The fruit can be enjoyed raw, made into smoothies, or brewed as a tea from the leaves. And so, our journey through nature's bountiful arsenal comes to a close. But remember, the story doesn't end here. While the potential of these foods ignites hope, every individual's journey with health is unique. Before diving into any changes, it's essential, and we cannot stress this enough, to consult with a medical expert who understands your unique needs. Join us in our next exploration, and until then, eat well, stay curious, and cherish every moment. If this journey intrigued you, don't forget to hit that like button, share with loved ones, and subscribe for more enlightening tales. Take care and see you soon.